All right, hey, it's Chris Morris from sinukexpert.com. And in today's Hangout, we're going to be talking about SENUC, and we're going to be discussing White Hat versus Black Hat, and um, my opinions on both. Now, primarily, I focus on SENUC here, um, obviously, because it's a tool that I use and my clients use to get um, targeted traffic to their website and to get their websites boosted to the first page of Google. It's very easily. Now some SEO tools like SENUC promise to deliver, but what I found over the years of using SENUC is that they don't really promise it, although they do, but they actually deliver it. Now when you're creating a website, the first thing that you want to do is focus on getting the site set up correctly, having your SEO done correctly, your on page, and then you'll start to focus on the off page, which is getting your backlinks. Um, and in doing so, you will be able to use software like SENUC to drive your tra or your site to the top in Google. So setting up your site is one thing, and getting visitors to the site is a complete other. A website with zero visitors is a waste of your time, in my opinion. So if you're not even focused on getting visitors, then why are you doing it? So the question comes down to, well, how do you get traffic to your website? How are you going to get these visitors? So there's basically two types of traffic that exist. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you have pay traffic, which is going to be things like um, pay-per-click, banner ads, could be guest posting, could be YouTube videos, you're just driving traffic from, uh, I'm sorry, uh, not, not YouTube videos, but uh, where, where you're paying to have your um, link or advertisement on a website or maybe in Google AdWords or something like that, okay? And then you're paying for that, and then once people click through, they end up on your website. The other one is going to be something uh, we call organic traffic. That's natural traffic, so that's uh, SEO free traffic where someone might go to YouTube, like I mentioned before, by accident. Um, they would go to Google, type in a keyword or a search phrase, and they would land on your site. So that's going to be the organic uh, traffic. Now, there are a number of different techniques, both eth ethical and unethical, for increasing natural web traffic. So we're talking about black hat versus white hat. There's some gray hat techniques, too, um, where it's kind of in between in between the two. But I only focus on white hat tactics. Um, that's because I, when I first got started, I was in black hat, and I realized that the short-term short um, money that I was making or goals that I was meeting were not worth it. I, I had to, I was burning a lot of uh, websites and and once I switched over to doing only white hat it completely changed uh, everything and plus now things are just getting too difficult in Google to keep battling back and forth so I only recommend using white hat techniques. Now when you're doing your website obviously you want to have your on page done correctly the most important thing that you want to do in any stage is always going to be looking at keywords. Keywords are probably the most important thing in SEO. Um, search engines they they rank your websites, and they're based on particular you want uh, they're going to be based on particular keywords. So, in that for that reason alone, you want to you know conduct research on the best keywords that you want to target. Okay, and this is something that you can do really easily with the Google uh, Keyword Planner. There's other tools as well, but uh, it's just as easy to do with the Keyword Planner. So, you know, you, you would go in there and log into your Google account, go to Keyword Planner, and instead of focusing on, say, single keywords, you know, you can look at keyword phrases. Um, the longer out the keyword phrase, the less competition there usually is, and it just makes more sense. People uh, are moving away from typing in single keywords, and you'll find that the long tail actually convert better as well. Um, so let, you know, just pick the keywords and let those keyword phrases flow naturally. Don't try and force, you know, those keywords um, unnaturally in your pages or anything like that. Um, with keyword density on the page, there's, there's talk about that. Um, you know, I, I don't even really worry about keyword density anymore, mainly because um, I, I, I'm not keyword stuffing or anything like that. I usually keep them at probably 1% or lower. I don't, I don't even recognize that I'm doing it anymore, so I probably would keep that at 1% or lower. Um, with on-page, you want to look at your page titles. So you al always want to have your, your titles in your pages and or posts, uh, if possible, that they would include the keyword or the keyword phrase in the title. Um, Google is arguably the largest search engine in the world, right? And so they display results as links using the page 
articles and, and also with the page description. So you want to make sure that your titles are optimized. Um, for getting backlinks, obviously Google loves links, even though they don't, uh, they, they say they're moving away from it. Um, internal and external linking factors do apply. So with external links, you're going to use software like SE Nuke. Um, or really any other, other automation tool. I'm just using SE Nuke because that's the one I prefer. But you would use SE Nuke to get links from other websites, basically. So when you fire up SE Nuke, SE Nuke basically um, allows you to sign up. Um, once you download the software, it goes out and it'll create accounts for you. And with those accounts, it will auto sign up to different platforms where you can post your content and inside the content you can have SE Nuke place backlinks to your site um, and so that's that's the function of SE Nuke is to gain high authority high quality backlinks to your site and in further um, in other videos like this this is just the first one I'm gonna go more into depth on how to use SE Nuke and whatnot but this is just a, an overview of SE Nuke and some of the the uh, white hat best practices and whatnot so you know, like I said, in further ones, we'll go over that. I've got a uh, great SE Nuke review coming out. Um, we are going to be talking about strategy, tips, and tactics. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut this hangout short, but uh, just keep in mind everything that we talked about today. And in further hangouts, we will go over um, your on page, your off page, and other tips and strategies that we use here at SENukeExpert.com that ranks not only our pages, but our clients' pages as well. So stay tuned to that. Thank you for hanging out with us, and we'll see you in the next video.